Perseverance is equipped with a device to clear rock powder from the abrasion patches made with its drill, but sometimes it gets used just to blow the dust off rocks. The most recent use revealed tiny Martian treasures on this episode of Mars Guy. I'll start it with an update. Last week I presented observations of Ingenuity's Flight 53, which ended well short of its planned landing site. I speculated that it may have been forced to make an emergency landing. Turns out that was true. The helicopter team posted an update describing how Ingenuity's orientation sensor got out of sync with the images from its navigation camera after some images were dropped, more than the flight software could handle. So Ingenuity dutifully executed a preloaded command amusingly named Land Now. This was the first real test of it, and Ingenuity passed with flying colors. Perseverance has been working at the outcrop location that Ingenuity was intended to scout in advance. Here's Mars Guy for scale. It started by deploying the arm-mounted Watson camera for a close-up look, which revealed a notably rough surface covered in dust and coarse rounded sand grains. This may be why the next step was to clear away the stuff using G-Dirt, the gas dust removal tool. G-Dirt was designed to clean out the shallow holes made by the abrasion bit on the drill, which provides the smooth surface needed for the Sherlock and Pixel instruments, but it's starting to be used more for clearing the surface before abrading. In the view from the HazCam, it looks like there's barely any change, but Watson tells a different story. There's an obvious change in color where the dust is gone and the coarse sand grains were all blown away by the supersonic blast of nitrogen gas. Interestingly, there are other grains that survive the blast. These three all have an elongate shape with a vaguely greenish hue. There's also a hint of an iridescent sheen. It's likely that these are olivine crystals, a common magnesium iron silicate mineral which is known as peridot or peridot in its gem variety. The more iron-rich forms of olivine have an iridescent sheen as I presented in episode 119. The vaguely arrowhead shape is a bit odd but may be a manifestation of the prismatic crystal shape that olivine sometimes shows. The fact that the greenish crystals weren't blown away clearly demonstrates that they're stuck to the rock. But all the holes show that this rock had a bunch more grains that have been lost over eons of erosion. The nighttime LED lit version of this scene really shows the mix of empty holes now filled with dust that didn't get blown away and others that still hold either a rock fragment or mineral grain. This is the texture of a sedimentary rock that has trapped relatively coarse grain bits in a finer grain matrix. Think nuts in chocolate. And the mix of both angular and well-rounded grains show that they traveled from both near and far before getting stuck together. Because we know that Perseverance is traversing a huge fan of sediments delivered by a river that once flowed into Jezero Crater, probably repeatedly, it makes sense that we're seeing sedimentary rocks like this. And because we know from orbital spectroscopy that there's a lot of olivine along the inside edge of the crater and much more outside of it, it makes sense that there would be olivine crystals in this rock. Perseverance has now made one of its abrasion patches for the science instruments to inspect. This likely is a prelude to collecting a core sample for return to Earth. The science that could come from these little crystals would make them more valuable than any gem on Earth. <laughs>